Yo guys, welcome back to Brandon PDCGO Battle Styles video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at an Incineroar deck here. Yes, an Incineroar GX Dark Box deck. Uh, Incineroar GX does have a really cool ability, Scar Charge, allowing you to, once you're in turn, you can put three damage counters on this Pokemon. If you do, you can search your deck for up to three Dark Energies and put them onto this Pokemon. So, obviously, the idea is we can accelerate Dark Energy and play with Incineroar. We can have multiple in play. We can put up to, like, six energy and play a turn, which really racks up damage for your big attacks here, like Greninja Zork's Dark Pulse, doing 30 plus 30 more damage for each Dark Energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Combine that with Weavile, take the energy off of the Incineroar. We have Mewtwo to copy to help us with those matchups where we need Mewtwo. We got Sableton and Armory on Darkrai. So Incineroar is just a really strong card in these Dark Box decks. And we're trying to make it work today. The only downside is, of course, this is a Stage 2. We have to play Rare Candy. Other than that, we can try to make this deck work. So before we get the video, guys, of course, I have two. The sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys love to pick up any set codes, like Battle Styles, Shining Face, or Vivid Voltage, or when Chilling Rain goes live later this week, guys. Chilling Rain is going live on PDCGO on Thursday, and then also Friday when they're going in the shop. Make sure to get your Chilling Rain coats over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin will be selling Chilling Rain coats online, probably for the cheapest anywhere. So make sure you pick up your Chilling Rain coats over at Card Cabin. And if you do, make sure to use my discount code, code LDF, at the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase to help the channel help yourself out and up our Card Cabin. So big shout out to Card Cabin. Check them out and get your Chilling Rain coats over there. Also, make sure you guys check out the video articles i've been posting all right let's look at the list here so that's what i'm rocking with the first game i didn't have the energy recycler i had a 12th energy but after the first game i did cut uh the 12th energy for an energy recycler i feel like this deck actually needed that uh, but overall this deck is kind of cool if you're able to actually find a rare candy and an incineroar which hopefully shouldn't be too hard to do i am playing a skyla to kind of help with that we set up incineroar we get that scar charge going and we're vibing and we even have it as an attacker sometimes darkest Tornado is a really strong GX attack as seen with Mewtwo, but we also have Crushing Punch to remove a special energy. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much just a Dark Box deck. We got Dene, we got Mew, Crobat, we got Mewtwo in the deck. Um, for Cherish Ball, because we can grab pretty much most of the Pokemon in our deck. So Cherish Ball is like a no-brainer. Same with Quick Ball, gets us most of our stuff. Four Rare Candy, four Incineroar, uh, three Boss, four Marnie, four Research. I am playing the Skyla. Of course, Skyla for Rare Candy is really good. Since we do have the Dene's and Bats, we can go like Skyla for Rare Candy and Incineroar and then play a Dene or a Crobat to play like our pseudo draw supporter for the turn so that's kind of the idea behind the skyla two balloon because we do need to move stuff specifically like incineroar with a three or three cost this thing is a little bulky so we kind of need like an air balloon just to make it a little bit lighter this can also be important with like revival and stuff and they got a big charm to give you extra hp this is this could go a long way that 30 extra hp does help and then we got 11 energy in the deck and that is the list i got here go hop in some matches how it does and let's see if we can win some games here with incineroar dark box let's see how it plays for us okay here we go again the first match with incineroar we've won the coin flip we might be against single strikes this could be a good matchup for us because we do have the mewtwo uh we'll see how it goes we get a lit and start here no rare candy to go with this cherish ball not good we do have a mewtwo we can get in play we can get pro i'll probably just go weavile mewtwo i i kind of want to get another lit in play though but i, I don't know we'll see We'll see if we draw here. We just need to get... You say to get a rare candy in an incineral. I mean, it's not too hard, you know? It's not, not asking for too much. Ooh, they open the Jirachi, though. Which tells me otherwise. So let's get rid of this. Grab Sneasel. We have all the incineroars. We have all candies. I mean, the gang's all there. We just need to uh, draw well. And I'm going to pass. We're going to hold the hand, because we can probably cherish ball for Weavile and maybe Mewtwo or Incineroar, depending on what we end up top decking here, a.k.a. A supporter but it looks like we are up against rapid strike urshifu okay it is beatable i can't remember if i prize my mew or not yeah i remember i don't i can't remember if Mew's prize i think it's in the deck i, I, I think i saw it i should have checked i thought it was oh, i was gonna be single strike though no cap this guy's a clickbait and he's like i mean put on single strike sleeves we'll play a rapid strike deck to fool the opponent i mean it's smart i mean sometimes you overextend against single strike i don't know it's like a big brain play they might marnie me um yeah we could get marnie here yeah hopefully we can just draw rare candy if not we can just cherish ball from you two and weavile and then hope that research comes in clutch and gets us the uh the stones we'll see how it goes there's a karina's focus we'll see what else they play in their deck i wonder if they play like empoleon or octillery or anything like that no, but they are going to Marnie me. I was right. They were going to play a Marnie here. So now I wish I did Cherish Ball for a Mewtwo, but I didn't expect them to actually Marnie me. Let's see what Marnie gets us here. 
Ooh, okay. I see a rare candy. That's a good start. Let's see if we draw. Nice. Marnied into the rare candy Incineroar. Which, I mean, we might as well put in play. The only problem with this, though, is the uh, Urshifu might KO us next turn. But, at the very least, we're going to get our energy in play. We get a Weavile. We can move the energy around. When we draw the air balloon, that works, too. Um, let's do Scar Charge. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll do Scar Charge. We got six energy in the deck. Okay, so we did prize a few energy. We'll just Marnie here. If we had double lit, we could have had a double Incineroar. Now, that would have been epic. Not a very good hand. We could knock them out. I don't want to KO them here because I know they're just going to KO my Incineroar. We definitely want to retreat him here. I think we're just going to have to Dedenne the hand away. Yeah, we're going to have to play Dedenne down. I need to check to see how I have Mew in the deck. I need to get Dedenne and then pray we draw some good cards. No Litten because we could have got another Incineroar. That's very unfortunate. I'll have to sacrifice Dedenne. We'll just Cherish Ball for Weavile. Maybe, I don't even know if I actually should go Weavile here. I don't know. It's a shame we didn't get another Litten down because we could have had another, we could have had another Incineroar in play next turn. That's unfortunate. Not really much I could do about the energy. Like, I could move it around. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. We'll see if my opponent KOs me here. Yes, sir. I mining them into the perfect hand to knock out my Incineroar, probably. They're down one bot. Okay, nice. They are Marnie me, which is fine. This hand was not very good outside of having a Mewtwo a Cherish Ball. We'll see what we're looking at here. Will we get a good hand? Okay, nice. We got Litten number two. We can bench the... Uh, probably just research, to be honest. Roddy Bell. Looks like they're playing passive. Yeah, I think they're playing passive here. I don't think they're going to take out my Dedenne. I mean, hey, it's pretty pretty appealing to kill a Dedenne, though, you know? Taking two easy prizes. I don't know if they expect the Mewtwo, so maybe they might just knock out Dedenne and be like, oh, I bet you this guy doesn't play Mewtwo. And then I play my Mewtwo, and then I KO them. As long as I don't put a Jirachi GX into play. Are they going to rope? Just have to feed him Crobat, I guess. That's fine. This is what it is. And we can still KO. I don't think it matters if we lose the energy here. It does suck we do lose it, but how much I can do about that? We got 300 in the discard. Yikes. Oh, we can KO them with Darkest Tornado, I think. Yeah, Darkest Tornado can knock them out, I'm pretty sure. Um, right, because we'll have 6 damage. 6 times 5 is 310. Maybe not, actually. Never mind. Come on, Weavile. We'll have to give up an energy here. That's fine, though. Let's see who we draw. Another Litten. Yeah, we'll do Scar Charge first. We want to make sure we get the energy out of the deck, so we can thin out the deck as much as we can. Pretty sure this is not a knockout. No, maybe six damage. I don't know. Is six damage a knockout? I don't know. I'm too lazy to count. Let's just research and hope to find a Mewtwo. We do, but we didn't get the Greninja Zoark. We do have enough energy in play though to copy um to copy the attack. Okay, let's quick ball with Skyla. I don't think we need that anymore. Grab Mewtwo. Yeah, there's enough energy in play for us to copy um Tyranitar, so it's all good. Man, we're losing a lot of energy in this matchup, I just realized. Yeah, we're losing a lot of energy here. Maybe we should play an energy or cycler in the deck. Maybe that could be a decent tech. Or like a Norne Rod. Maybe that's something we maybe got to consider playing. Here we go. Take a KO. Uh, we could bench Mew. I don't think we have to, though. So we're just going to Greedy Crush for the knockout. And uh, we can keep getting energy and play next turn. We are running a little low, but we have a few energy surprise. I remember that much. Yeah, there's one. We could get all three. You know, another Weavile's Knight. And all right. There we go. We got Sneasel Weavile. Got another energy, so we'll have six energy in play right now. Uh, we have a boss in hand, so they mentioned Urshfu here. Yeah, there we go. We just boss knock it out. We'll see where it takes us. We can keep building up energy with Incineroar, and we'll see where this takes us. We have a second Incineroar. Is it even worth it to put that in play? I don't even think it is. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it to put another Incineroar in play. We'll see, though. Can my opponent take a prize this turn? I don't think they can. Yeah, I don't think they can. Well, I guess they could go, like, Dojo Boss. No, that's never going to happen. No, that won't even knock him out. I, th I, I think they can't take a prize. I think we're fine. Because we have boss in hand. They have to Marnie me here to stop me uh, from winning. How many boss do we have left? We have one left after this. We have one more boss somewhere in the deck. I think. I don't know if it's prized. So if they do hit me with a Marnie here, we could find boss. All we got to do is boss 
the uh, Urshu. Or better yet, if they bench a Dedenne, we can just win the game by going uh, Tyranitar, Sableye, and knocking it out. That could be something we could actually do. So actually, I, th I think I'd rather see them bench a Dedenne just so we can win this turn. If not, we're just going to build up more energy with Incineroar. Just go from there. Let's we'll see where that takes us. Yeah, we're just gonna have to, I mean, Mewtwo is not going to get knocked out anyways. Like, even if... Okay, no, they do have a stamp. Okay, so they can disrupt my hand. I was going to say, because even if they don't... I don't know. They have to, like, remove my energy or something to, like, stop me here from winning. Because we can just go Sabletar. There's a stamp. That does put the energy back in the deck for Star Charge. Stamp never... Bro, stamp is a... Dude, stamp's rigged, bro. It, it doesn't work, bro. It doesn't work. You stamped us into a research, bro. Like, ooh. <laughs> who's mad, bro? Stamped is rigged. Rigged card. Rigged card. We'll see what they grab here with Octillery. Okay, single, double, rapid, whatever. If we just draw a boss, this game's just pretty much over. Do they have anything else in their hand? Aw, oh, Crobat. No, that could have been a Dedenne, bro. And then we could have maybe won with a boss. I don't think we're going to draw a boss. Fine. Pretty much game over, though. Like, we knock them out. They can't kill my Mewtwo. Hmm. They can't Rapid Flow. We're going to bench the Mew anyways. Yeah, we're just going to bench Mew just to be safe. Okay, they had a second escape robe. That's a little annoying. I mean, they still can't take a prize this turn. We'll just give them Weavile. Yeah, they can't take a prize this turn. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, there's no, like, dojo buffs. We're only going to be doing third. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. They have to move out of the active spot. Weavile has, what, 140 HP? Yeah, can't even get knocked out by Rapid Flow. Oh, wow. That was a dirty top deck. Wow. That was a absolutely dirty top deck. So let's Scar Charge. Get that last energy into place. Get all the energy in play here. Bench the Mew. Retreat. Go into the Mewtwo. Boss here, Shifu. And... Greedy Crush. Kind of feel bad. That was a pretty dirty top deck. I'm telling you, bro. Reset Stamp does not work. It doesn't work. The card is broken. It's rigged. I, bro, there's no way my opponent stamped me into a research and then I top deck the boss. Bro, like, who's to say stamp is, like, like, stamp doesn't work, bro. Who's to say it works, bro? Clearly, it doesn't work. So, yeah, we pretty much win. There's nothing they have that can survive an attack from Greedy Crush. They have to, like... Oh, they have another stamp. Okay. I was like, oh. The card is rigged. It's rigged, bro. What the heck? I'm, I'm telling you, stamp is rigged, bro. What is that? The card is rigged. The card is rigged. Oh, my God, bro. I feel bad. I actually feel bad for my opponent. Oh my goodness. That dude, stamp, man. Stamp. <laughs> Why did they get banned and expanded, bro? It doesn't it doesn't work, bro. It's a broken card, dude. They shouldn't have banned it, bro. Unban reset stamp and expand it. The card's broken. It doesn't actually work. I I don't believe it. Oh my gosh. I feel bad, bro. I feel bad. I mean, it doesn't matter if they stand me because we win anyways, but that that's still sus, bro. <laughs> Imagine if I wasn't winning there. We got him, though. We got the Incineroar. We kept building up energy, and we took the game from there. I do think we need to add an energy recovery card to the deck. I think I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I don't know what to cut, though. There's a lot of important... I guess we can cut one of our energies. We have 12 energy in there. We probably go down to 11 energy. Um, let's go down to 11. We can add an energy recycler or an ornate rod, both of which are actually pretty good. I'm just going to add energy recycler to the deck. I think energy recycler is probably better. I can find it. Where's it at, bro? Secret Rare Energy Recycler, where are you? There you are. All right, let's add that. All right, beautiful. Let's move on to another match. All right, here we go into another match. We've lost the coin flip. We'll see what we're playing against. Will it be ADP? I haven't seen ADP in a while. Can't believe I said that. Um. Okay, how we get in here? We get a Mew. We got a lot of energy in your hand. Good thing I added the Energy Recycler to the deck. Otherwise, this hand would be a little sus. Now, uh, we are going second, so we can at least research here. Ooh, we're playing against my low tick. Could be Bronzong. No, looks like it is just a my low tick deck. Yeah, Galar Mine. We don't have any counter stadium in the deck. That's a bit of a rip. Do an Incineroar too. Okay, like Mewtwo. We have one Weavile in the deck, so our other Weavile is prized somehow. Great. Good to know. We'll just do Psy Power here. I mean, I guess. We're not going to knock me out next turn. Then we'll research. Don't want to bench Dedenne or Crobat, because they can get stuck. Okay, nice. We got the turn two Lin. Still no Sneasel, though, but we can start to get some Psy power damage on. We do have the Incineroar for next turn, so we can put the Incineroar in play and start 
getting energy into play here. They could Marnie me, though. They probably will. They probably have Marnie in their hand. Uh, we'll see, though. How much does my Lotic do? Hmm, it could knock out my Mewtwo in one hit. We have a two retreat cost. We have to find Air Balloon. We want to put our Air Balloon on to the Mewtwo so that it can take a hit from the Milotic. Yeah, Air Balloon is going to change everything. Air Balloon will change everything with our Mewtwo. That's for sure. Oh, no, they boss my Mewtwo. That's annoying. That's annoying. Okay, so it's Rare Candy and Cineroar. Um... Yeah, not much we can do about that. That's annoying. Mm -hmm. We have three energy. Still no Weavile. Let's Cherish Ball here. We can Dark Moon them, I guess. I don't think that's going to make a difference, though. Is it even worth it to do Dark Moon? I mean, I guess. I don't know. We can do Dark Moon next turn. Yeah, okay, we got this. We can Quick Ball away this for Spilitten or Sneasel. They could have another boss. They could knock out my Incineroar, actually. They have another boss here. That would be bad. This Maybe I do want to do Dark Moon. We can Dark Moon them next turn. Yeah, we can Dark Moon them next turn, potentially. Or do we just do it this turn and just, like, go for it and just pray we... I mean, Dark Moon won't do anything. If they have an energy there, just KO me anyway, so it won't make a difference. But next turn, we are going to knock them out with uh, Greninja Zoark, so... Hmm. But then we get Dark Moon for later on in the game, which actually is pretty good. Can they KO me? They could KO me. If they play an Absol down, they actually could knock me out. Maybe we should Dark Moon them so Mewtwo doesn't get knocked out. Hmm. All right, fine. We're doing Dark Moon. I don't know if this is the right play or not, but they could knock me out. If they have an Absol out, like the Quick Ball for Absol, I think they can KO me. So I think we just got to play it safe. Yeah, not much I can do. I don't want to bench. Well, no, we can bench Crobat. Yeah, theoretically, Crobat can be benched because it can attack. Anything that can attack is what we want to bench. But we can't bench Dedenne, but we can bench Crobat because at the very least, it can attack. Yeah, okay, three Milotics. Aqua Impact. How much is that doing? 250 or 210? I guess Absol would have knocked me out then. I think it was still fine to go for the uh, the thing there. I think it was still fine to do that. We'll just do another Scar Charge. Keep thinning the deck out of energy. This Milotic will go down. My opponent has no Snom in play. Might as well just hold the hand, right? Yeah, I'm just going to hold the hand. We can Crobat and try to find Weavile. Yeah, let's do that before we uh, take our prizes here, before we have a big hand. There's the air balloon. I'm a little too late for that to matter. I'm going to bench another Mewtwo. And I'm just going to go for the Dark Pulse for the knockout. How much is that doing? 300 damage. Oh my god. Just after two Incineroar Scar Charges, we are able to do 300 damage with Mewtwo. That's insane. Take our prizes. We get Cherish Ball. We can finally get Weavile in play. I mean, we should have put the air balloon on the bench Mewtwo. Uh, but I do want to save that potentially. Nope, they have a Marnie, so I should have saved it. But I mean, at this point, we're just going to steamroll them. As long as we get more energy in play, we find Weavile. It's not the end of the world. Yep, there's a Cherish Ball. We got Weavile here. As long as we just power up the other Mewtwo, we're winning. Like, I, I mean, we're very far ahead at this point. Even if my opponent... Like, yeah, they just have to promote Crobat. They drop a Dedenne down. We could even win by bossing their Pokemon up. If we really wanted to, maybe they run out of Switch. We can just win by trapping their Pokemon. Right, as long as nothing is on our bench that cannot attack, like Dedenne. Actually, I think Dedenne is the only Pokemon that would be bad to have on our bench. All right, let's see. These little top decks. So let's just grab Weavile here with Cherish Ball. We're just going to be in top deck mode for a little while. We still have most of our supporters. We still have all of our Marnies. So there is still... And we have Skyla. Let's put all the energy here. Put some on Mewtwo. Um, yeah, now I regret not playing that Air Balloon, to be honest. I'm just going to put three energy on Mewtwo, just in case Incineroar goes down. We can spread the energy out actually one by one. That's actually probably better. Yeah, yeah, we should spread the energy out one by one. Just because anything can get bossed. But I mean, at this point, it's like game over. They they knock, we knocked them out. Oh, we forgot to do <laughs> on Scar Charge. Oops. That's how far ahead we are. We didn't have to do Scar Charge. There we go. We got a Marnie. So we have Marnie for next turn. They just scoop the game. I mean, just like that, you get Incineroar and play Scar Charge, what, twice? We get 300 damage. Like, pretty nuts, man. Okay, getting into another match. We could be against another single strike or, or Shifu deck. We haven't played against single strike yet, but we could be playing against it. Uh, winning the coin flip is good. Let's check out our start here. Mulligan. Ooh, I wonder what I'm playing. Hmm, could I be playing a dark deck? No, no way, bro. There's no way I'm playing a dark deck. Nah, it doesn't look like a dark deck to me. It doesn't look like one to me. I got to imagine it's a single strike, right? They got the deck box, a dark coin for the Houndoom. Maybe they're playing Tyranitar. That could be pretty bad, actually. Them playing Tyranitar over 
single strike could be pretty annoying or yeah urshifu could be pretty bad um okay all right this is a decent hand we got litten sneasel down turn one honestly we should maybe play a third sneasel i'm thinking about that because we've all super important in this deck i think we should play a third sneasel but i mean if you can go mewtwo attach attach maybe it doesn't really matter that's my mindset Ooh. Look up the candy. Okay, so let's do this. Grab Litten. Maybe we can draw Incineroar. We do have all three in the decks. The Weavile's there. We have our other Sneasel. Crobat, Dedenne are in the deck. One, All of our candies are there. We did prize a, one Marnie. One Energy's prize. Big Charm. All right, not bad. Our prizes aren't terrible for once. Okay. Yeah, if we can draw into a Incineroar GX, that would be amazing. But we'll see what happens. To be fair, I actually don't want Mewtwo in the active. Unless, like, yeah, because we can get knocked out by Urshifu before we actually get to knock them out. So we should probably... Well, uh, we could just find boss. We have three in the deck for a reason. And knocking out Houndoom is always good, too. Takes off one other Pokemon. I'm very curious to see if my opponent's actually going to go for a... Uh, curious to see if they're going to go for the laser focus this turn. I mean, there's a chance we whiff a knockout, right? There's no guarantees we're going to get a knockout on them. So I wonder if they're just going to go for laser focus. We'll see. Yeah, really hope we can draw a Cherish Ball or Incinero GX. We'll see what happens, though. Come on, Pokey Gods. I believe in you to give me a good top deck. If not, we can just, like, knock them out Dark Pulse. Yeah, we'll see if they go Urshifu, though. I mean, if they do, they walk and do a knockout. I want to see them get a Dene, though, because we can knock out Sable Targ. So we can knock out Urshi VMAX and Dene with uh, Sable Targ's Greedy Crush. But they are going to play a Crobat down. They're digging. They probably want to get more Hound Hours and play. The more Hound Hours, the better for them. They might need a second Urshi. No, they don't do anything else. Okay, no, let's go. We drew the Cherish Ball. Oh my God, PDCGO RNG is on my side today. We top decked. Look at that. We actually got an Incineroar in play. Turn two. Let's go. That You love to see it. No uh, no boss play, unfortunately, to KO this. So that's fine. We can KO their Hound Hour here, right? Maybe. Oh, we whipped an energy though. That's fine. We can Cherish Ball for Weavile. Never mind. <laughs> we're chilling. We're chilling. We can just Weavile here. Uh, Greenwich is already in there, so we don't have to get rid of this. But I am going to Quick Ball it away anyways for another... Probably just another Mewtwo, to be honest. We could get Crobat. We can probably rock with one Incineroar, though. Yeah, I think we can rock with this. We might get Marnie anyways. Or Stamped. Or we can draw a Marnie. We have a Marnie prized. Uh, so let's do this. Take the energy off. We'll spread the energy out. We'll... Oh, we don't... Yeah, it's fine. We'll leave it on Incineroar. Let's Dark Pulse knock him out. For how much are we doing? 150, not bad. Okay. Let's take our prize. Energy Recycler. Mm, it's not very good. Yeah, maybe we, we should have maybe won Crobat instead of another Mewtwo. But I like having two Mewtwo's because if they... Well, they're not going to kill me this turn. They can't. Unless they had another Hound Hour. If they had another Hound Hour, they could have. Might just be a Steamroll. See how it goes. We'll see if we get Marnie. I kind of want to get Marnie. We are going to lose some important resources here off this research. We'll see what happens, though. There's a Capture and G gets them. Oh, but the plot... Thickens. I get a Jirachi GX in play. Okay, that's huge. Maybe now I wish we went Crobat, because now we do need two Incineroars so we can do a double Scar Charge so we can get even more energy in play. Okay, the plot thickens. That is actually really bad. We can still KO them. I mean, we're still very far ahead, right? But that's still... That's huge. Unless we top deck a boss. Boss top deck would be actually ridiculous. But who knows? I do want to see a Marnie for my opponent. Okay, wow, they're banking on this uh, boy here. Do they have, like, a Rose? Bro, no way, dude. No way, bro. They have a one of Rose in their deck? Nah, no chance. No chance. Oh, actually, no, they can't. They don't have to attack me because then we just... Darkest Tornado. We hit him with a Darkest Tornado. Okay. I'm probably just holding the hand, to be honest. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold it. No rush. Get three more energy in play. Yeah, we're just building up a ton of energy here. This is lovely. Just take one of the energy off. I feel bad for my opponent because I think they didn't realize I could do Darkest Tornado, but it is what it is. Let's spread the energy out evenly here. We'll take one off with the three on Mewtwo, though. Just have three on Mewtwo. Now just go for the Darkest Tornado GX for a lot of damage. How much is that doing? Oh, 700 damage. Get out of here, Urshifu. Yeah, rip my opponent. Let's see if we can find... Yep, they just concede. They walked into that, to be fair. But yeah, there you go. We just... Thankfully, we got the Incineroar into play turn two. Again, not too, not super hard to do. And once we got that Incineroar in play, we build up the energy, we do some damage, we hit hard, and we have a lot of options with Mewtwo and Weavile. Pretty good stuff. Okay, here we go. Getting into another match. Let's see how this goes. Winning the coin flip. We're against a Welder deck, but we'll still go first. We have to go first. Let's see what we get here. Uh, not bad. We got the Incineroar, potentially. 
but we need a cherish ball. But they are mulliganing, okay. The only problem is we could get double blaze, so we might have to go into crowbat, because I don't want to get double blaze. That'd be very annoying. Okay, mulligan twice, that's fine. That's two extra cards we have to work with, which is good. Or at least give us a basic to work with. Why? There we go. I was gonna say, bro, that's some that's some cringe. Crap. Sneasel. Leaving Lin in the active is risky, though. So I think we do want to just go Crobat here. Yeah, I'm probably just going Crobat. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Don't Marnie me, please. You're playing a Welder deck. The chances you have a Marnie are 0%. You do not play Marnie and Welder is not needed. We got the turn 2 Incineroar. That's pretty good. Uh, we just don't have a good attacker for next turn. We're going to have to just go like with a Mewtwo play. We'll see how it ends up going. I might have to Marnie them, though, because they have a pretty decently big hand. So Marnie might have to be the play here. We'll see what happens. I'm just really hoping we don't get Marnie. I mean, I have a bad feeling my opponent just plays Marnie in their deck, even though they're playing a Welder deck. Welder doesn't play Marnie, but EDCGO will be like that sometimes. But let's go. We keep our hand. Maybe. We get to keep our hand. Oh, what a surprise. If we can just build up energy, we can smoke this. Okay, yeah. Now I'm going to stay in the active. They just put a random... But that's such a weird card. Does that ever do anything? I don't think it does. Yeah, why would they play that? Anyways, Vitality Ban, whoop de doo not a big deal. It's all Gucci. Glad I didn't leave Litten in the active. We would have gotten smoked by the, uh, the, what's his face? The, uh, Volcanian. And I think they would have taken the knockout too on my Litten. Especially, yeah, they probably would have. So let's go. Rare Candy Incineroar. Drop Weavile down. Catch Crobat. Research. And let's see if we can get a KO this turn. I think, we, yeah, I think we do. The, uh, there actually is an issue. They do have double blaze we have big charm but that's not going to protect us oh we're going to be out of research after this yikes we're going to be out of research I want to KO this um but I don't know what to KO it with if we go Mewtwo we just get KO by double blaze if we go Incineroar we lose our Incineroar and then we have to get another one in play to try to deal with Reshizard well, actually, what we could do is we could wait a turn. We have boss in our hand. I'm going to put all the energy on this Mewtwo just in case. They can't kill my Mewtwo. We're going to actually put the energy on the Mewtwo just in case we see a play. Well, yeah, we can hold the hand. Yeah, I think holding the hand is actually fair. Um, we'll put all five energy on Mewtwo. They can't knock it out unless they go Welder, Double Blaze, Raid Catcher. I, I doubt that'll happen. Um... Then next turn, we can just go Dark Moon on the Reshizard. Yeah, yeah, let's just do that. We can either go Dark Moon or Dark Pulse. We'll just hold the hand for a turn. There's no rush. There's no rush. No rush whatsoever. They can't knock out my Mewtwo. Now, I don't think they play Marnie, right? Oh, they are going Switch. There's a Volk. Do they have a boss? They have a boss. Nope, they have a Research. Okay. I was going to say, that if they had a boss there, they could have knocked out Incineroar. And then, but then if I get an energy, I still just knock them out Dark Moon. Okay, cool. All right. So yeah, we uh, will most likely Dark Moon them. If not, we're just going to kill the Greninja Zoark, I guess. So that'll work too. So let's bring in the Mewtwo. Let's see what our top deck is. Ooh. Oh, but... Uh, I know. The, no, no, sorry. Uh, look, I, I, the opportunity arises us, but I think it's more important to actually just put a... Uh, get the Dark Ride the discard. Oh, no, we could have went... No, it doesn't matter. Okay, hold on. I was like, oh, we could have Giant Hearth it away. No, we have to research anyways. It doesn't really matter. Um, there's the energy. We'll do another Scar Charge. Get some more energy in play. Ooh, let's go. Look at that. We got nine energy in play already. That's insane. Uh, let's discard this with Giant Hearth. One energy left in the deck. Lull. And yeah, let's just... Uh, how much HP do we have? 190, so it can't kill me. All right, here we go. Dark Moon GX. Where is it at? Where is it? Dark Moon. There it is. Dark Moon. Let's click it and bye-bye, Reshizard. And there we go. Boom. See you later. And we got our three prizes here. What are we looking at? We got Weavile number two. That's pretty good. Or candy, we can another Incineroar down. Do we ever have to, though? I don't know. Do we have another we have Energy Recycler? I don't think we need two Incineroar. I think one is fine. I don't know. We're in a pretty good spot, though, right now. I mean, we're going to win the game. We just need to make sure we find our last boss, which we still have two in the deck. Um, so they, They're probably going to end up benching another Reshizard here, and then we just boss kill with Dark Pulse. I mean, we're doing so much damage. We're going to have 10 Dark Energy in play already next turn. That's insane. We're going to have so much Dark Energy built up. That's nuts. This deck's act, like this deck is dirty when it sets up. Like when you actually get Incineroar and Rare Candy, you, this deck's actually pretty nuts. It's kind of dirty, man. We're doing them dirty. We just see a hype. Let's play a whopping 50 damage. Uh, we still have 250 HP. We can't even get knocked out by Flare Strike next turn. 
we can just go attach well okay we'll put another incinerum play i don't like this but at the very least we can always attack with it if worse comes to worse let's do this i want to see if i can find uh my other mewtwo there's marnie trying to get my other mewtwo here i don't think mewtwo can get knocked out we have 250 hp there's nothing that can kill me i don't think there we go there's a one played my opponent's just giving up they're just like how am i gonna beat a deck like this anyways let's star charge get that last energy in play look at and just like that we have all 11 of our energy in play thanks to incineroar i tell you man this deck's actually kind of busted bro it's kind of busted if you actually get rare candy in your stage two pieces it's actually kind of cracked it's actually cracked let's move the energy around a little bit more um it's just GG's, my opponent. There's like, I, I can't see how they're winning. We'll move some of the energy off Mewtwo just in case they have some shenanigan to KO me, just in case. Leave, doesn't really matter. Let's just do Dark Pulse. Where's it at? How much are we doing? All 11 energy Dark Pulse. 360 damage, bro. Oh my God, not even E-Turn VMAX would survive that. Man, this deck's insane. <laughs> Told you, bro, this deck's actually kind of nuts. Anyway, so let's see what my opponent can do here. There's Reshizard. Uh, we still have our two boss left. So we'll just go to Dene here and try to find that last boss's order to wrap up this game. If not, we could just go Black Lance, hit for 50, and then finish them off with Sable Tar or something. We can also Dark Pulse them no matter. Even if they KO this, they still have to go through the other Mewtwo. Oh, no, they have a Stamp the Two. They're not out just yet. Okay. That is three times this video where Reset Stamp has given me good hands. I'm telling you, bro. The card is rigged. Doesn't work. Does not compute. Um, okay. This is quick ball. Get rid of this other Litten. Yeah, both boss are in there. Let's see if we can rip it. It does suck to lose energy recycler, but it, it, we, even if they KO this, I mean, it's, like, it's still game over. And there we go. We got the boss order. GG's to my opponent. <laughs> oh, GG's. Oh my god. That was actually nuts. We just steamrolled them once we set up. That's insane. I feel bad. Once again, Reset Stamp did nothing to stop me. I mean, we still had a ton of outs left. We had, like, what, Skyla, Cherish Balls, Quick Balls. I guess it's pretty likely we drew off that stamp anyways, but three times in the video, Stamp has given me a good hand. I'm telling you, the card doesn't work. It's rigged. Marnie does more damage than Reset Stamp, I swear. Anyways, that'll be it for the video, guys, on this Incinerar deck. We were so close to getting these six packs, or five packs. You have to wait till tomorrow to see me open those. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video on this Incineroar Dark Box deck. That was a ton of fun to play. Again, it just comes down to whether or not you actually get the Rare Candy Incineroar. But once you get Rare Candy Incineroar in play and you get things online and this deck flows pretty well, I would maybe bump up the Sneasel count to three. I think a third Sneasel is needed. Honestly, I might even put a Pokecom in the deck. That extra search card might go a long way to find Rare Candy Incineroar. Um, maybe I would swap two to Dene for two Crobat instead. Maybe that's, that's okay. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 17 thousand subscribers check out car cabin down below use crawl the f uh what else uh, yeah stay tuned for chilling rain man it's gonna be exciting uh there won't be a video uh thursday morning uh but there will be a video in the afternoon <clears throat> 100 pack opening oh my god i'm so excited to open those cheese anyways thanks for watching bye